to my channel. I am Shreya and today I'm back with another exciting video. So I was waiting since long to do this video and finally here I am. So today's video is going to be about my DNA results. So a few months back I took the Circle DNA Premium test and this test gives you all the details about your DNA. It gives you 500 plus reports. So I was so excited and right now I have my results with me. So I'm going to talk about my results and if you're interested, you can go and watch my previous video where I showed uh, how you can take the circle DNA test. I gave all the details about it. You can go and check it out. This is how it actually looks like. I'm going to link it uh, below in the description box below and up on the iCard. So you can just go and check it out. So now let's begin with today's video uh, because I'm so excited. Okay. So after you take your DNA test and once you get your results, your results are displayed on the Circle DNA app which looks something like this. You have results uh, for various category like right here. So I have my results on the app and uh, as I said they are uh, you know categorized according to different categories that we have. So I'm going to start with the first category which is diet and lifestyle. Okay, so for the diet, uh, first of all they give you your optimal diet type. So I'm going to include a screenshot right here. Then they have various uh, you know reports for your diet as well. So first we have alcohol sensitivity. So it says if you have a higher sensitivity or normal sensitivity towards, al uh, towards alcohol. So mine is normal sensitivity. Also, next we have uh, caffeine sensitivity. So again I have a normal sensitivity. Then we have caffeine. fat sensitivity. So my fat sensitivity is quite higher. Now what they have recommended for that is I should have more of a uh, good fat instead of bad fat. Now bad fat is all the fat that you get from your junk food like pizzas, burgers. So I need to avoid that. I actually had a pizza 40 minutes earlier. So yeah, I should limit my intake uh, for bad fat. And good fat is the one that you get from saturated uh, fat sources. So that was about the fat sensitivity. Next we have carbohydrate sensitivity. Now my carbohydrate sensitivity is also higher. This is somehow related to fat because uh, even the carbohydrate is good so and all bad. in all I should limit my you know processed items intake because that has like a lot of fat and carbohydrate in it. Okay so now the next thing is lactose intolerance. Now lactose intolerance in my case is higher and I somehow can relate to it because since my childhood whenever I used to have had milk milk uh, I uh, felt very uneasy and I felt like I'm not able to digest milk however I can digest like curd buttermilk I have those things and that causes no problem because in that uh, lactose is converted into lactic acid so that doesn't cause any problem to me but for milk yeah I uh, always um, you know had a disliking towards milk so today I know the reason <laughs> Okay, yeah. next we have a taste sensitivity, which is normal in my case. Um, then we have sweet tooth, which is again normal. Weight regain. Now, weight regain risk is, uh, in case if you lose your weight, if your weight regain capacity is higher, you'll, uh, you know, regain weight uh, more quickly than average. So, mine is average. Next is detox, vegetable needs. Um, so, in my case, Boom. It, uh, there's an increased need of having more green vegetables and I get the point because since childhood I've always avoided green vegetables which shouldn't be the case because you know your body needs the vitamins minerals that uh, green vegetables have so I get the point that I should you know start having it because uh, even my DNA report says that then uh, we have toxin generation speed uh, now toxin generation speed is the speed at which your body starts um, you know generating toxins so in my case i have increased speed uh, which means that my body produces toxins very fast so um, again the solution for this is to have more green vegetables which will you know flush out toxins from your body we have next category which says success quotient now for success traits uh, the uh, first is iq so i have a normal iq then we have emotional quotient so my emotional quotient is quite high which means you really relate to people like you are able to understand their feelings or you feel bad when other people are sad you don't like uh, to see people crying so mine is super super high uh, and i could actually relate to it i'm highly sensitive and i am you know highly emotional i can't see people in trouble then is entrepreneurship tendency again is normal creativity i have normal educational attainment mine is above average which makes sense because since childhood i have been scoring like higher uh, you know above average always like i'm in the top three always then information processing normal 
language ability excellent communication skills mathematical skills excellent which i'm surprised because i don't like maths at all okay so the next category that we have is personality traits so there are various reports like are you an extrovert or how open you are in your behavior the um, agreeableness that you have so mine is balanced in all the categories then we have behavioral traits so behavioral traits uh, means uh, it talks about your alcohol addiction or uh, food addiction smoking addiction so mine is less in all because i don't smoke i don't drink then we have physical traits which means uh, all about your you know physique so it talks about body hair your eye color hair color so my eye color is brown hair color black pain sensitivity is higher in mine um, my smell sensitivity is stronger which means i can smell foul places <laughs> just kidding okay so now the next category that we have is nutrition uh, so for nutrition again we have various reports so first we have antioxidants so my uh, need for antioxidant uh, is again normal like i don't need more of antioxidants like i don't have any deficiency next for calcium again i have normal needs for folic acid i have normal needs then comes iodine now for iodine i have higher need for this they have mentioned some uh, iodine rich sources which are mostly um you know non-veg and i'm a pure veg person so um that's why i think i have a deficiency of iodine then we have gender traits so this talks about your hormones uh, gender wise so if you are female your female hormones and if you are male your your male hormones so my everything is balanced there then we have family planning so in family planning uh, you have different mutation causing genes so um, the genes that could be passed to your next generation if you have any positive genes for that um, any mutation it detects that in my case i don't have any mutation so everything is null um, you know this includes hyperinsulinism more of that then cancer risk so this talks about any genes that you have for different cancer now bladder cancer brain cancer breast cancer carcinoid it it tests a lot of cancer like not just one type this gives you like around 20 or more types of cancer and in my case there's no cancer causing gene so i'm grateful for that then we have dementia and brain health which talks about alzheimer disease uh, parkinson's disease um, schizophrenia so mine is again average in all so i don't have higher risk for any of those then we have um, common health risk like diabetes hypertension so then uh, now uh, if i uh, you know keep discussing each and every report it's gonna take so long so now i'm just gonna give you an overview because by this time you might have already understood the way the reports are given so then we have pollution sensitivity so for me uh, environmental pollution sensitivity and secondhand smoke which means uh, smoke that comes from other sources like you are not the person who's smoking but smoke that comes from industries or another person i have higher sensitivity for that that was about pollution next we have skin so for skin um first is skin age mine is younger so for skin age they give you three reports like it, if it looks younger if it looks as per the age you have or do you look older so mine is i look younger than the age that i am right now my acne risk is higher um, then uh, I don't find anything unusual then you have skin lightening ab ability hydration ability photo aging sunburn all that and next category that we have is talent and sports so for sports and fitness I have like really average uh, results like there's nothing uh, more to talk about because I am actually not into sports then memory skills I have normal memory skills then we have music and dance so for music and dance i have normal ability for both for music as well as for dance so for uh, sleep we have various report like what is your sleep depth like how deep sleep you have mine is average then we have duration of sleep like is it short long average mine is short which means i sleep for less than seven hours then sleep movement like how much you move while you're sleeping mine is more and i actually relate to it because i move my hands and legs so much while sleeping then sleep quality easy sleeper which means you uh, go to sleep uh, sleep quickly you don't take much time then sleep type it's like i'm a morning lark then there are various other reports such as bone density inflammatory response life longevity metabolic response mosquito bite tendency 
which is unusual i mean i didn't expect it and then we have stress fracture risk so everything is normal except just one thing so for drug response there's again a longer list and it's more deep diving into science so i'm not going deep into it so yeah that was all about today's video i found many things which i was not aware of through this dna test and it gives you very comprehensive results so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what you think about it i'll see you guys in my next video